a beautiful early morning and cool here in Fargo. And we're going down to the hot south. We're going to Georgia. It's 58 so, degrees. 58? Yeah. Here in Fargo. <laughs> well, that's the end of these temperatures. So we got we just got up here to get our car and I was totally joking. I said to Karen, I want that one. Well they gave me that one. It's the same price. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, it's from Minnesota. Hey. We're in Savannah and the car is from Minnesota. That is so awesome. Check it out. I feel like a little kid. So this car was sitting in the rental car lot and it it was it's the sweetest ride on the entire lot. And I pointed to it because I love the color too. And I said to Karen, let's just get that one. We'll pay extra. And the gal saw me and she said, um, you could have that one. And I said, well, I have a different rate. I like a VW bug or what, what do they call it? The Jetta. I was gonna get a Jetta. And she said, oh, you can, because I'm an Emerald Club member, I can just take this one for the same, same price. price. And it has Minnesota plates on it, so I feel, I feel at home. <laughs> and now I feel like a little so kid going for the first ride in a go-kart. <laughs> well, we gotta, we gotta check out, first of all. I guess you just drive out. There's no checking That's my weird. credentials or anything. I thought I had to stop by the some kind of a could have got the suburban. No. Although I love suburban. But like my daughter said, this is a red car. That's a cop magnet. So no speeding. Nobody even checks me out of the gate. I just push the red button. Push the red circle button before you fall asleep. It is hot here in Savannah, Georgia. It and is. I'm going to have an accent before the end of the day. No. Because I tend to pick up accents from people. Oh, accents. I thought it's an accident. Accident? No. No, we're not having any accident. Oh, this is a sweet ride. Oh, this is a sweet ride. I just feel like a little kid. First time in the go-karts. 
bumper cars. Although we're not going to play bumper car with this car. No, we need to do that because you don't know how tough they are in these cities. Don't be a, don't be a dumbass. <laughs> you're, you're a killjoy. <laughs> I'm not a killjoy. I'm a safe joy. Yeah. You're gonna safe exit joy. on 102. Okay, so we're in Savannah. We just landed. We just got the rental car, and guess what? what we're gonna do first. <laughs> Go to a thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> Only because we can't check into our Airbnb until after four o'clock, so we have to kill some time. So yeah, we don't want to spend. We're gonna kill. A lot. We don't want to spend a ton of money like doing some dumb, like going golfing. Oh, geez, look at that guy's kind of relaxed. I don't golf anyway because it's not my thing. A little thrifted. Although we can't buy anything big unless we kind of Holy get God. it for cheap enough to ship it home. All right, Savannah. First impression: you really need to clean up your streets. This is a mess. Filthy mess. Wow. The airport was really, really cheerful and clean. I love that airport. The Savannah Airport is awesome. Oh, One of the best airports I've ever seen. Well, this is oh, this is in Gray Street though. It says Unknown Road. Ah, we'll take the Unknown Road. Eighty, it says. Okay, yeah. And then we'll take the road less traveled. Recent. Rubber baby buggy bumper pants. Rubber baby. Oh, gorgeous. It's got Get it. It's on yeah. Clarence. It's $3. That's a pretty good bargain. I wonder <laughs> if my friend Lucy would want this. Hmm. That's pretty awesome. But I'm going to leave it there. So Karen resells vintage clothes on the side. I it's do. kind of a brand new hobby that she just started. Yeah. So She's tinkering with it, you know. Here's some men's. So look for vintage. vintage. Oh, these are kind of cute. I could get me a Savannah shirt. <gasps> Offshore angler. That's too big for me though. But yeah, I gotta get a cool shirt from here for the lake. Yeah, we do. So, anyway, so we are at the thrift shop hospice in Savannah. So let's see what they have. Come on in, let's go shopping. We're entering South Carolina and Karen just saw a roadkill. It was a dead armadillo. I did. It was a dead armadillo, and he was... He was rigor mortis. He was rigor mortis. You've never seen a rigor mortis dead armadillo before? So, so it's good. raining. It goes from no rain to super heavy rain in seconds, and then it quits again. And uh, so we're cruising the highway. We just left Georgia. We entered South Carolina. We're headed to Hilton Head for a vacation. A little bit of a summer vacation. Who goes south for the summer? <laughs> Should be going north to Minnesota. But it's cold Cooler. up in Minnesota, so we're going to thaw out. It's 91 degrees, and we there's big thunder here. And lots of rain. And dead armadillos. And we're going to a wedding. Yay! It's Andrew's wedding weekend. That's my nephew. It's going to be a fun weekend. Is that a jellyfish? I don't know because I'm from Minnesota. We don't get these at the lake. But we're at the ocean now. This, oh, grab my shoes. <laughs> the tide is high. So yeah, we're from Minnesota. We don't see great big waves like this. We don't see jellyfish creatures. But from my science classes in college, I found that the jellyfish was one of the most amazing creatures on earth because they're so simple yet so adaptive and uh, I just marvel at nature especially when it's things I can't see every day something just went into the sand is that one of those things Callie was talking about that they poke up there's, there's one here too what's that you guys okay ocean people tell me what those those holes are air bubbles Karen says or are they giant worms that eat people <laughs> I like to think those squid things, that she's squid things. oh those uh, worm things yeah. yeah what are those 
you guys tell us in the comments because we need to be educated, edumacated. Is this a shrimp? Right there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pop my bubble. Hey, we're videoing. I was going to take a picture, but you know, we're so few. We might as well be on video too. We're sitting at the beach again. We tend to end up here once in a great while. Just because of the power and the sound of the ocean and how it makes us feel as we walk through the sand. It's, you got to get out here once in a while. It's We love the lake, but I also like the salt water on my feet. It feels good. Good place to hold hands. And kiss. Mm. We did it. Any excuse to kiss. To the ocean, so I, I want to go there. This might be the last time you ever see him. The... You get to see me just get, get taken away. away. I, I love water. I love being in the water. I feel confident in the water, but not over confident. Things. I've had sharks bump my leg, but they're little. I've had jellyfish swim up, touch my shoulder, but they weren't poisonous. Probably a sea turtle. Could be. Something Old Greg. <laughs> he could be out there. <laughs> no, he lives in the swamp. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Should we say our final goodbyes? <laughs> here we go. Bye. Have fun. Uh oh. Are you making a uh, art? Oh, a heart. Heart art. Whose initials will she put in under her name? Hmm. We've only been in love since high school. It's perfect. Here comes the big wave. <laughs> high school when I had decided to quit dating and then I met Karen and I couldn't resist. She's contemplating drawing in the sand. What is she gonna write? Inquiring minds want to know. Kind of like how my channel grew, it just kind of appeared right before us. I appreciate all of you who have watched us for so long and provided us so much encouragement. This has absolutely been one of the best things about my life, is having this experience of meeting people through YouTube and through sharing our videos, because it's it's not something I tried to do. It just, it's one of those things in life that happens. And when you do something that, from your heart and something that's good, then it comes back to bless you. And you guys are a blessing to us, really. You really are. I'm, I'm so sincere with that. What a 
see right in there. And make comments too. Kind of overcome by the feeling of the fact that I love being out here. I don't want the sun to set and I don't want the day to end because it's another one of those beautiful, beautiful days. Two words. And uh, yet, there's the hope of another day appearing tomorrow morning with a new light and new sand, new water. This might be washed away by the tide, but it's become a memory. And that's kind of what my channel is all about. And I really feel blessed to be able to share this life experience with more than just a couple of people. Thank you guys for watching. Perfect. My hair. Beach girls. Beach girls. Beach girls. Oh. I look. Your phone do this? She always takes my picture and it says, "You look darky." Something. No, I just look darky some of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dear.